happened is when NASA went up there, they they, they raised a, a full amount of money on the potential they get to go on three take better pictures of the Mars surface because they said they believe that the face was a result of shattering. Alright, every time they tried to get close to Mars, they had a problem. The last time they got up there with the help of Russia, they took lots of pictures and they brought it back and they came not this through that space and they found a second face, a more, a, a more uh, oval shape, uh, shaped face, which they then attacked and said, now this is shadows. But what they did is they said, we verified the face on Mars is shadows. And they were talking about the second face, not the first face. What they did then was they tried to you know, undermine the public by saying, you know, NASA discovered that the face on Mars is based on shadows. But they never addressed what the Hoagland was talking about. They went to do when the government came to you gotta watch the way they work. Because what they do is they they'll see an incident of a UFO incident and they'll put everybody's attention on Roswell because they know they can pull out documents and make Roswell look stupid and they can take your mind off Canada or the crap from Long Island or all the crap that the Russians are going to feel. And then what they do is they can learn to know. It's high psychology. And they look over there. So they can put on television and put it in the face of the young city. So they did. They became a brand new face. The old, the long, the long face. So they might have seen it. Now there's another face. And it took it away from the space. Because the mother was saying, yeah, when you flip the face, you know, back and forward, you come out with a line in space, and it must have made it to the space. But at the same time, there were other scientists proving that the space goes back 10,000 years before the 46 dynasties of Egyptians. So they're trying to figure out why the space has a Nemurus on, which is the headdress of the lion, because it looks like the so-called headdress that most of the women still wear today is a symbol of the lion's name. And they were trying to figure out why, how they wear that Nemurus in ancient Egypt before the 46 dynasties came in and brought in that dress for a path in there. We ever see statues of path and certain deities that predate the 46 dynasties, they don't have the headdress on and all the Renelli that appeared to be Egyptian of a, you know, of, of a certain era. They all just standing there, mostly, almost like opposite, uh, top bear, very, very hairstyle, no eye, no And they're out in Egypt. So what happened is they always got to come back. They could not deal with them when they started cursing faces. And they had the scientists who have, they have a now way, which is incubus, where they, uh, somebody might know more about it than I, where they take a flat surface and they put a computer in it and it enhances the dimensions of it. Anybody ever turn to use that? Well, they have now most of them, right? You can see your books and everything now. The, the computer prints it flat and they have a computer, a software that can enhance it. Well, they're able to take flat surfaces in order to get the dimensions. They got the dimensions of the face and it proved that that is a face on Mars. Then they went about uh, logging certain currents that was there. They have to be about the same distance from currents of Nubia, not of currents that are in Giza. So the space hadn't been there when the currents of, let's say, uh, uh, you know, a swan was built. It was long before the currents was up in Giza. And this is coming their own, the, the whole uh, Egyptologist community is at a race. They took the, they took the two sizes that had proved that the space had more than damage, right? And they have, they have exited out of the scientific community. They banned Then the other one, the other two that I can't use name right now, who showed them how the three pyramids lined up with the Orion star, they also have now been banned. Out of science, if you have a way, if you start in the science of the community, it's very tight to say that if you start to be able to take the data of the council to sit around and agree on, they ban you straight up. And all your books and everything, that's why Dr. Van Sullivan, that's why they got, I mean, that's why they don't recognize him. That's why at a certain point they stopped recognizing Dr. Van Sullivan. That's why Dr. Uh, Jeffries got bad. That's why Dr. Francis Wallstein. That bad jump take you right out of existence and, and make everything you say look like you made it up or you're lying. That's a format. But they're at a point now where things are starting to manifest that they can no longer explain. They're beyond themselves. And what happens is people, the normal person, is beginning to lose respect for the scientific community. Just, 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 just who many people here? How many people here are willing to go to the hospital and lay out well, there was a time when people got sick, and they upset somebody with the toothache, and they just ran to a doctor and dentist. Now, you know, you got to be a whistle to your 
What? Did you just say? You said there was more than one cause? That's what I'm talking about. Cause holds it in the matter. That's the truth. Because she has 30 feet, 30 cars. She can be sacked for me based on the heat and the cold of the sun. You're just, you're as backwards as everybody else 
So it don't follow us. It's just a joke to us. But hell, if you came here with a religious belief, I just put a dent in your stuff. Mm. The best you can do is go investigate what I'm saying. If you don't know that much about AIDS, research it and find out, damn, that's true. A bacteria has outsmarted God. See, the sentence, you were smart enough to figure out how to come to the where it came from, and how to adjust it. Entity 
that was born and lived on earth thousands of years before you, and you have mutated further up the ladder. We talked about this last night, right? Now some disease gets released that's primitive. That's what they're so showing the Jurassic Park. You know, they don't give you the dinosaur story. They're not talking about the head of dinosaur breed from watering dinosaur drunk. He would die anyway. He couldn't live on this evolutionary stage. So if they make a dinosaur, he couldn't survive because there's not enough bacteria in the food or the water to sustain his body. He would frown up and die because mutating and evolution are working together. I'm not saying so if you find a man that is 20,000 years old and dig him up, you follow? Unless he stays in that area, that far beneath the soil, where on that level, that's how paleontologists investigate, they tell about the changing of the soil, how many layers have laid on top of it, and each layer represents thousands of years of evolution. So if you go down 200 feet, and you find a body down there, he needs to live in that environment. He can't come up here where things have changed. Yeah. But when you open up bacteria or living entities, then they must go into a being or animal that is capable of adapting. See, lions would stay in their habitat if we didn't go kidnap them and put them in zoos. Right? They would not volunteer to go to Atlanta Zoo and become a drug addict. You know, you know, in the chain. They wouldn't do it. They'd kick your ass if you came in there and they'd hit you. <laughs> Only one animal on the planet. On the planet. Not, not birds flying. Migrates from place to place, moves into environments where he has to thicken his clothes. He said, Why well, say that? Because a dog or a lion or a deer, their coat changes as the weather changes. You hear me? Now, you can get buck naked, walk around your bloody ass, <laughs> all you want, change country. Walk from here to New York, you ain't gonna get no coke on your ass. You're gonna freeze to death and die. Right or wrong? Now, you are not made then to be able to migrate beneath certain temperature levels or above certain temperature. You belong somewhere, fool, is what I'm trying to say, to make it simple. You belong in a specific place on the planet that relates to your body temperature where you can walk around without clothes. No, I ain't asking nobody to take off their clothes. I don't have an office up. I wouldn't ever take it. I'm saying man was supposed to be somewhere. Now, religious people might say he's a God. God put us in the God. No, God, your God cheated. Because if what I'm saying is a, t- a scientific fact, then he created man in one place, and I think the Bible said, took the man and put him somewhere else. And then man had to put on an apron. That's what your Bible says. God moved you out of where you really belong over the time where she prays, and then you needed clothes. Every other animal, as they migrate their fur, gets thicker. Everybody the dog knows that. They get a winter coat and a... You know. Your father? All the people in the north, like we did for many years, crazy as hell. They don't love them. You catch colds down there. Take off the clothes. No, I don't need to do I mean, if we had on no clothes, Whatever environment we, is conducive to our body, which we become comfortable, that's where we belong. Now you say, well, maybe at night when your sun appears to go down and gets a little chilly, what's that to take your ass inside a cave and light a fire? But that's still not natural because bears don't go in caves and light fires. They go in caves and how many this is to be go. Why? Because man has forced bears to migrate. Why does man force a bear to migrate? Because man goes to say again. He goes and cuts down trees and moves their food. It's not like they can 
can go to Ingles and go shopping. They got to go look for their food. So we kill all the damn trees to make cities. The animals got to move. Now animals are all over the place. You know the African lions and Indian lions don't attack people as much as lions or mountain lions that have been in this place. Do you know that's a fact? People in Africa walk up the lions and talk to them as long as they ain't. No signs, no signs, anybody. All they ate. A lion won't bother you, please. Now, you see, you see that right there by the same man in the forest. The same man in the forest. They got big old lions, right? And lions walk around them with every certain amount of minutes. They reach into a bucket, pull out some, stuff it in their mouth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If they forget. <laughs> you understand? Hand off these lions love me. You don't feed that lion? Yes, you alone are a dog. You go away on vacation for two weeks, leave your dog, you raise your rock wall or your pit bull or whatever you call it, what do you call Snippy and all that kind of snippy and spoopy. Leave him in the house by himself. And don't feed him for two weeks and come back and think you're going to go in the kitchen and open a can of food. Tearing your ass like food. <laughs> right? There's something real about all that. Let's go back to the scientific stuff. So if, if time moves forward and layers of life and strata changes, and then they go and dig down and go to the forest and pull out dormant bacteria, they must find some kind of animal that has the ability to roam and adjust, and go there to live. Thus, they invade the human body. Not knowing how fragile you really are. They just moved in there, like you move in the neighborhood, and set up shop, and rearrange things to make it suitable for themselves. And then you die. You follow that? And they say, the only way to this thing the only way, one, you know, the only way for AIDS to get transported from one person to another is by injection. Be it evil or peace. There's still a form of injection, but it's not. Okay, I, I, you know why I say that? You know what I mean? Because women are afraid of needles. Two TV, pointy needles, they go, ah! Oh. But they're not afraid of needles.
I'm trying to control these mosquitoes that are moving towards Georgia. Now, the mosquitoes are fighting for you, Justin. Come on, Justin. They start touching home and I say, yeah, the mosquitoes are coming in our direction. Now do you want to know how fast they are? <laughs> what kind of is this thing? Will they bite me? Hell yeah! Yo, and we are the bad way they're out of control. Because they're out of control. Because they lost grip of people. They lost you. They had you under control. All of us. They had us believing when they said clap, we clap. They said Jesus, we said Lord. They said A, we said man. Right? They had a program. I had a brother say, I tried to get here this morning. I was listening to my brother's teaching. I'd like to get here to the classes with uh, Cook on Thursday night. I got a job. <laughs> he basically said, I can't get here to be with Cook to start learning about my spiritual self and preparing for the alignment, which is obvious by the weather, because I got a job still working with 1998. I am two years away from the island, and I'm still pumping money into the devil system. I can meet you with my show and my foot. Won't collapse, stop command you with me. I can be Casamon and my foot. Won't pop for us, Capon, Casamon, and me. I can be what I'm a pop for us. Won't Kador, Raju, I'm a Casamon and my foot. Won't Capo, I'm a Shakasun. Papa, Kador, Napa, Kador, Papa, 